Tonight, for the third time, the minority party, the Democrats in the Senate, have blocked more funding to fight this virus. Let's stop this monkey business. Let's stop these political games. The Senate battle over Zika funding hits another wall. Democrats just voting down a new spending bill blocking crucial funds needed to stop the spread of the virus here in South Florida. Partly because of this, the Republican-backed bill included a provision to block funding for Planned Parenthood. And this, the bill would also allow the Confederate flag to start flying again over veteran cemeteries. Regardless, spraying is set to go as planned tomorrow over Miami Beach. CBS 4's Hank Tester joins us now with the latest. Hank. Well, good evening to you. Well, we can tell you there's some very unhappy Florida senators tonight. And folks here in Miami Beach, they're highly concerned about their health if they're spraying come Thursday. Let's take a look. Mosquitoes spraying on Miami Beach, the front line on America's war on Zika. Federal funds running out for the national effort to wipe out the mosquito-borne virus. But Congress, back in session, a $1.1 billion Zika bill in the hopper and stalled again. Let's stop this monkey business. Let's stop these political games. Let's stop these political riders. Senate Democrats blocked the massive bill because the legislation would have also blocked funding for Planned Parenthood and allowed Confederate flags in federal cemeteries. So after seven weeks of vacation, government funding for Zika bottled up in a partisan fight. Zika is not a game. And if you think it is, then you should take your game somewhere else. This issue is about human beings, not political chess pieces, and we have a duty to solve it. The Senate vote failed 52 to 46, 60 votes needed for passage. Well, back on the home front, aerial spraying to combat Zika will commence Thursday morning on Miami Beach. The beach may are not real happy, some residents concerned. I think it's important for us not to listen to the politicians like myself or Jimenez or the governor. I think we need to listen to the scientists and the doctors, and they're recommending this action. And that's exactly what Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez has ordered with the backing of the CDC, with knowledge that Miami-Dade County provides regional services like mosquito control. That's not lost on one unhappy beach commissioner. The city of Miami Beach apparently has absolutely no power, at least when it comes to, as a government, the city of Miami Beach has no power because we're not in charge of mosquito control, the county. This decision was made at the Miami-Dade County level. Now, the commissioner is highly upset about this. He says his constituents are concerned about the health issues surrounding this spring. So tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., there will be a Zika workshop at the Miami Beach City Hall. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back Thank you, here. Hank.